Welcome to the Intuit Developer Group. I'm Pratika Jagtiani and I'll walk you through how to create an invoice using the QuickBooks API. Let's begin with what an invoice is and when a business provider would create one. An invoice is a document that a business provides to its customers and it contains a list of goods and services along with the statement of cost for a payment at a later stage. If a customer does not pay the business at the time of sale, then the business needs to keep track of what is owed to ensure future payment is received at a later date. Invoices help businesses manage their accounts receivable. Accounts receivable is the outstanding balance that is owed to a business by its customers. Now let's go over what the contents of an invoice are. You would begin by filling the customer details, which would include the customer's name and email address, and their billing address will be pre-populated from the customer reference list. Next, you will enter the terms. For In this case, net 30 means you would want the customer to pay you back within 30 days from the date the invoice has been sent. This is the line items list. Line items in an invoice represents individual line items of a transaction. Line items are used to provide customers an itemized description of the services provided and the charges associated with it. Each line item contains an item. Items are the things that the business buys, sells, resells, such as products, services, etc. The sales tax is auto-computed based upon the shipping address and the location of the company involved in the transaction. In order to create an invoice, you must have three things. You should have created a customer that you could reference in the customer reference list. The next thing you need is an item created in your items list. Be sure to set the income amount for each item or service. Lastly, if you are a non-US company, then you will need a tax reference code. Now you can hit save. And with that, you've created your first invoice through the UI. Now let's see how we can do the same using the QuickBooks API. The basic elements required to create an invoice through the API are shown in the below request body. You will need to have at least one line as a sales item or an inline subtotal, and you must have a populated customer reference object. For non-US companies, you must have a tax reference code available too. If any of these values are missing from the request body, the QuickBooks Online API returns a validation fault message and that will lead to the failure of creating an invoice. Once the request is successful, the QuickBooks Online API responds with a success message and the following response body. The invoice response body will look like this. It will contain the details of the invoice, including an invoice number or ID, metadata about when it was created or last updated, document number, the line items which were referenced on the invoice when you created it, and the billing address for the customer and shipping address for the customer. Now let's see how we can create an invoice using the Java SDK. In order to create an invoice, we must first create a customer object. Let's see how to create a customer object. We should first initialize a customer object, set the display name, company name, and an email address for the customer. Then we must add this customer object that we created to our data service object. The data service is used to make the API request to the QuickBooks Online company and this will create the customer object in the company that you're connected to. The next thing to do is create an item. To create an item, we must initialize the item object, set the name, description, unit price, type, etc. Every item must be associated with an income account. If you don't already have an income account, you need to create one. Now that the item object is created, 
we shall next add it to the data service object so that it can create it in the QuickBooks Online company that you're connected to. The next thing to do is to correlate the customer and these items in an invoice. Let's see how to create an invoice object. In order to create an invoice, you will first create an empty invoice object. Set the customer reference to the customer that we just created. Create a list of line items. Create a new line to be added to that list. Create a sales item line detail with the item that we created earlier. And then add that sales item line detail to the line. This line is then set in the invoice. Then you can add this invoice object to your data service object, which will make the request to the QuickBooks Online API. Now that you've created the invoice, you can choose to send the invoice as an email to the customer. You will need to have the primary email address set for the customer. Once the customer makes the payment, you will want to connect it and link it to the invoice. Here is the code to create a payment. You will first create an empty payment object, set the customer reference, the total amount in the invoice, and then you will link it to the transaction in the invoice. With that, you have learned how to create a customer, an item object, create an invoice using the customer and the item details, send an email to the customer, and then link the payment made by the customer to the invoice. You can access our sample Java app for invoicing by clicking on this link here. You can also access all our documentation for invoicing following these links here. That brings us to the end of the invoicing tutorial. Thank you.